Hey, this is Wes Fryer. Today's April 22nd, 2021. And I want to make a video, hopefully, about showing how to connect my Rectech app on my iPhone. I have an iPhone 8. How to, how to, how to use it to connect this, this PID. So here's the situation. This is the Rectech computer on my Rectech RT700 Bull. And uh, it only supports slower Wi-Fi. You have to connect your device to slower Wi-Fi. Here's my problem. I have faster mesh Wi-Fi. I have the Google Wi-Fi, which is now called Google Nest Wi-Fi. My phone always connects at the faster speed at five gigahertz, and I need to make it connect at two. So here's what I'm trying, and I'm hopeful that this will work and it may help somebody else. I've got an older router, um, and you and somewhere in my garage I thought I had a Linksys and some other brands. I can't find those. I have an older Apple Airport Extreme. We're gonna give this a shot. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna screencast on my phone. What I've done is I've reset that router. I've held down the buttons and the, and turned and powered it on to, to reset it. Okay, and I'm gonna have to put in the same network credentials so the same network name and the same password that I use on my regular Wi-Fi I've got my regular Wi-Fi turned off because it won't let me connect this will always connect at five so I'm gonna I'm gonna record my screen here on the phone let's see if we can get this to work okay before I show you my screen this is <laughs> this is an, uh, a fairly old multi-year old um, uh, device and what I've done is I've just um, pushed down on this reset button and plugged it in, held that down for about five seconds, and that's put it into its reset mode. So it's ready to start up, start up. It's ready to start up as a new device. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click here on my Wi-Fi and say that I, I wanna connect to this Airport Extreme that hasn't been set up before, and I'm gonna try to put the same you know, uh, network ID and password into this. If you're not using an old Apple Wi-Fi device, you're going to be in a browser window and you're going to be putting in the default address. You're going to have to Google for that. And now it's cycling through trying to find, okay, fantastic, great. What am I going to call this? Okay, I want to call this the same thing um, that I have called my other network and I'm gonna put my same password in that I'm using on my regular Wi-Fi okay so that network name and that password that's what I want to do the base station can be whatever whatever we want to call it and so it's saying it's gonna create a network fantastic okay great and man look at all the things that are connecting to it oh it's yeah look at that that's great these things are connecting to it because they already have that wireless information. Um, let me see here if I can change anything about the wireless. I don't know if I can. Wireless options. Look at that. This is exactly what I, what I want to do. I want to make this only a 2.4 gigahertz network okay so that's the radio mode that I'm gonna change to so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and I'm gonna update that and it's gonna go ahead and restart man if you know an easier way to do this please let me know um, anyway I'm hopeful that this is gonna work basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to force this this uh, older Wi-Fi hotspot and router to operate at 2.4 gigahertz so that my phone will connect and my Rectech will connect. Once this is done, I'll be able to turn my regular internet back on and the Rectech should connect fine. So I've tried this several times and I did actually have to make sure my old Wi-Fi router is connected to the internet. It didn't work when it just wasn't connected to the internet. So say next step, oh, and look at that. It has my network name right here. If you don't have your network set to only be a a 2.4 gigahertz network uh, it doesn't work you do have to put in for some reason the password of your network it doesn't just get that from your phone once you put that in 
it says Rectech would like to allow. Okay, and I say okay. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is the first time I've seen this, this screen, and it's actually connecting. Oh, praise the Lord. All right, so, oh my gosh. Um, and I'm on low power mode. Um, in order to get this to work, I had to get an old Wi-Fi router, and I, I actually had to connect it to the internet because before I had it connected, oh my gosh, it's gonna work, congratulations, look at that. Oh, I gotta come up with a name for my grill. Okay, okay. so my device model is, yep, RG700, confirm. Huh, that's interesting. I think I'm gonna name my grill Sam. Sam is the faithful companion of Frodo. He likes to cook chicken. Look at that. Okay. So, ha ha ha! Fantastic, it works. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Huh. All right, well, here's my, my Wi-Fi set up and I'm gonna turn everything back on here as it was and we'll be back to normal. Um, I wish I could say this was a super easy process. Um, just to recap, you know, what you're gonna have to do is find, unless somebody can figure out a better way, if you can't force your current Wi-Fi system to only connect devices at 2.4 gigahertz, or to connect your phone, really that's it. Your phone needs to connect at the slower speed. The only way I could figure out how to do this was to get an older Wi-Fi system that I could force to be at the slower speed, connect my phone to it, and we're good to go. But yeah, I kind of went around and around with this and I'm a fairly geeky guy. So, um, you know, this is this is the one thing I'd say hasn't been just super, super easy. It's great and easy to cook on this Rectech. Just dial in the temperature you want, there you go. But I certainly want to use the, the app. And I think this is a function of the hardware technology in that PID computer. Um, and, and at some point, I think they'll probably have these that connect can connect to the faster, you know, Wi-Fi uh, networks. But at this point, in April of 2021, they can't. So I've got my network all coming up again. Um, one of the things that did trip me up just a little bit, you don't want to change the name of your Wi-Fi network. Because if you do, then all your existing devices are going to have to reconnect. And there's no way I want to do that. You know, I've got light switches and and plugs and things like that, that that connect as well. So I hope that's helpful to you. Um, I do have a variety of things on my YouTube channel, but all of my cooking videos are collected in a single playlist, and you can just quickly get to that if you go to wfryer.me slash cook, and I'll put that link down in the description, and I'll also, um, you know, put some other helpful links. So until next time, good luck, and cook good things. See you, see you later.